Billions of tax dollars are budgeted to help low-income families afford a cell phone. All new at 6, Channel 2's Justin Gray reports many of those phones may not be going to the people that they were intended to help. Low-cost or no-cost phones for the poor. 12 million Americans have cell phones paid for with your tax dollars through the Lifeline program. But a new investigation by federal auditors finds there's no evidence that more than a million people who get the phones actually qualify for them. A big number. We can't really attribute it just to inadvertent errors or some sort of administrative issue. Three cents, get your newspaper. Last year, we introduced you to Abdullah Battle, who says without his Lifeline phone, he'd likely be homeless. I don't even think you'll get a job without having a contact of some form with a phone number. To qualify for a Lifeline phone, you have to be receiving benefits for the poor, like Medicaid or food stamps. But the GAO found that one out of three people receiving phones aren't enrolled in the poverty programs they claim. GAO also identified thousands of people receiving Lifeline benefits, even though they've been dead for more than a year. The FCC runs Lifeline, and its new chairman, Ajit Pai, says in a statement that waste, fraud, and abuse are too prevalent in Lifeline. He says he's already directed commission staff to create new safeguards. Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill said in a statement, quote, everything that could go wrong is going wrong. GAO is now working with the FCC to help the agency identify specific individuals receiving the phones who shouldn't. Reporting in Washington, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News.